Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you would like to learn how to make this stuffed salmon with spinach, cheese, and cream cheese, on top of that, I deep fried it. Y'all, you do not want to miss out. Please stick around. All right, so the first thing you need is panko, baby spinach, salmon, eggs, flour, cream cheese, and cheese. The first thing that we're gonna get into is going ahead and assembling our batter process, which is gonna be flour, panko, and your eggs. I like the, y'all, I really should have done them in separate things, cause y'all will see, I cut the salmon so big that I was having a little hard time, but I made it work, I made it work. But I would suggest anybody who isn't used to doing a breading procedure, to go ahead and just do your panko in one pan, your eggs in one and your flour in the other one and then you're just gonna season it with a little salt in your panko breadcrumbs and in your flour and then I'm gonna go ahead and get into the salmon all right you're gonna want to cut up decent sized portions because you are stuffing this um, I personally like bigger pieces of salmon anyway because your girl is greedy I love salmon but as you can see, I'm cutting, like I did like a little small slit just so y'all can see exactly where I was cutting it at. But you just wanna slightly, like go in there lightly y'all because if you tear it, then it's gonna ruin your whole salmon and you're not gonna be able to stuff it. And then you might as well go ahead and just, you know, throw it on the skillet or something. But yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and make our cream cheese mixture. All I'm doing y'all literally is taking cream cheese, taking some cheese, taking some spinach and ripping it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of Cajun seasoning to it after I pop it in the microwave. I just pop it in the microwave just so it can go ahead and get the cream cheese a little soft. And then also, if you like garlic, I added a little bit of minced garlic inside of it. And then you just mix it around and then it's ready to go ahead and stuff for your salmon. All right, so you wanna make sure that you are very careful while you're stuffing your salmon. As you can see, I'm using my thumb to just kind of push it in there, and I'm using my hands to try to close it as much as possible because when I batter it, I wanna make sure that it's kind of sealed already. So I just add a little bit of salt on top of it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and batter my salmon. All right, you guys, on the breading procedure, you wanna make sure that you are taking your time going ahead and using the flour, and then make sure you get the eggs all over it, and then get the panko all over it because it's very important once it goes into the fryer it'll seal it all up and you don't have to worry about your filling coming out so make sure that you are taking your time with that um, as you can see I'm rolling it around in the panko I'm just trying to make sure I got everything on there y'all like I said once again please make sure it's fully covered and then you want to put it in a fryer for about seven to ten minutes I put two toothpicks in mine just to see if it needed it but it actually didn't need it I did my other one without it and it came out just as perfect so y'all as you can see it looks all nice and golden brown i have the picture so you can see the inside of it i hope you all enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i'll see y'all the next time